India's four. This is the second time she's been ridden without somebody on the ground either leading or lunging. So the first thing is mounting. It's not the best angle, but I don't have to lead her to the mounting block because she knows to line herself up for me to get on. And then I click her for what well, for standing still while I do the girth up. She also she stands still much better than a lot of adult horses that I know. What I'm looking for in this session is calmness and willingness and that India's listening to me. I taught her the voice cue walk on from the ground first so she knows that clearly and I'm starting to introduce the legs lightly alongside that so that she understands that legs mean go forward as well. And I've got pairs of cones and set up for her to go through as it gives us both focus and clarity and India knows to go through cones and over poles anyway so it helps her understand what I'm asking her for. This was an impromptu visit to the mat, it was India's idea. So she doesn't get rewarded for standing on the on the mat. Instead, I wait until she listens to my cues and then I reward her for walking on away from the mat. I think it's really important that these early sessions are easy and enjoyable for the horse. I want India to see the tack and think great when I come to ride her. So it's important that she has really good experiences at the beginning. I'm using loads of praise and she's getting a lot of clicks for listening to me and going where I ask her. In terms of tack, she does have a bit in, but I'm actually riding off the head collar as that's what India knows, and I've done most of her training from a head collar. I never want to use the bit for control anyway, so I don't need it for that, and I'll introduce it later when I want a bit more communication and finesse through it. For the moment, all I'm asking for is walk, halt and turn, so the head collar's absolutely fine. <laughs>